So here we go, ferry card trick in the bluebells. So we're going to start off, one out the back. One out to the left. And one out to the right. Fast, get out. Here, here, get out. Dead. Guys, come here. Come here. Get up. Guys, get out. And that's my version of the three card trick in the bluebells. Right, this is the three card trick, one at a time. So one up the track. One out to the left. One out to the right. Fast. Dead. Avoid. Fifa. Sit up, you. Sit up. Paddy, get out. Oh. Paddy, there. Hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, dead, go away, good lad. And that's the free card trick with three different dogs. So what does Chris think? Lovely bluebell wood. I wouldn't be doing this to a young dog, you could confuse it. This dog actually goes out and doesn't go straight to the mark. Steve leaves it in there for you to see. So when you're doing it with a young dog, do it on short grass. But this is great. If you notice, he's got his other dog sitting around him. And this dog is a young dog, but he listens to him. Yes, he doesn't go straight to the fall. He hunts around, but he gets all three. And you could say, well, he could lose the memory because he's messing around out the back hunting looking for that dummy 
you can do this with advanced training. Next stage, once you've got the dog listening to those hand signals, then you do exactly the same thing like what Steve is doing in this video, but he's showing you the advanced stages of how you move on from it. And that game continues, but you add to it. You're adding a difficulty. The dog gets it lovely, nice delivery, in it comes. The dog memory clicks in straight away. Steve takes the dog back a bit. Look, he's got the other dog sitting there, switched off the other two. Look, isn't that lovely? And then the dog listens and goes in the movement that he showed the dog what he wants. You're doing this to build it up that when you're out in the field, the dog will listen to you. And that's what it's about. So when we ask people to send videos in, when our trainers, our residential trainers, our DJs, as we say, can send it in, it shows they know what they're talking about, they know what they're doing, and they can educate you and help you. I'm so busy, I can't help everybody. And if you've got a residential DJ, one of our group members, who I've recommended as a trainer, then you've got somebody that can train a dog to a good standard. And Steve is one of those trainers. And this is the brilliant thing about the group. We've got people in the group training with each other, helping each other, but we've also got very experienced people in different parts of the country that can step up and help you out with your problem dogs. So Steve steps it up even more now. Yeah, this is the he'll actually show you. One at a time. He's going to put the dummies out the over the dog's head and he's going to send them one at a time. What I really okay, liked yes. about Steve's video is when things went wrong, he shows you what he did. He didn't lose his cool. One out to the right. He said to the dog, I want you to do this. Listen to me. And that's what it's about. We use discipline, but it's knowing when to use discipline. And dogs will go wrong, even trained dogs. And this yes. is great temptation. This is next stage again. There's not many people in the group who could do this with all their dogs, people with a number of dogs. It's the next stage up. It just shows the control, but the dogs love it, don't they? The dogs absolutely love the game, and that's the most important thing. The dogs enjoy the game. People are so quick to criticize me because of a few videos on the internet where I give correction to a dog. What they don't tell you is how much we put into the gameplay, how much we say the dogs want to play the game, not force them to play the game. But we also use discipline. Look, the dog didn't Daddy, sit. Steve told the dog to sit. He would have enforced it if the dog had not sat. But the dog sat. Now, I'm not looking for the paciest dog. Not everybody wants the paciest dog all the time. I'm looking for dogs that you can go out and have fun with and Ooh. shoot over. The dog dropped it. Look, and Steve Daddy, actually Daddy. tells the dog to pick it. He doesn't get it. nasty with it. Hold he doesn't it. ram it down the dog's Hold throat. It. There's times to be used firm discipline. And the problem is people Hold are scared it. to talk about when it's to use discipline. Water. But if we don't teach it Dirty. and how to get the best out of your dog, then how That's can people move forward? Well done, Steve. Thanks for showing your videos, mate.